So I basically brought in a lot of different sports across a lot of different year groups. Um, big focus on a physical development side, so looking at developing loads of different physical skills as well as sports skills. Um, and then along that, a lot of different festivals and, and competitions as well. Yeah, so it's, it's important for us to have as many children as possible competing and participating in sport. We're, we're trying to build our children into you know, long-term patterns of behaviour so that they become fit and healthy adults. Um, so one thing we try and do is, is mimic our um, active school competitions with the cluster competitions. So if active schools, for example, this month we've got an active school swimming gala. But obviously with us being two form entry, not every child can compete in that gala. So Dan's organised a, a cluster swimming gala where the other children can compete. So what we've done with the festivals is try to see what's been happening with the active schools um, and then to see how we could give more children opportunities. So there's a lot of year five, year six festivals and we thought that it would be good to give the, the lower year groups opportunities. So we've had a, a key stage one sports or athletics and then a year three and year four sports or athletics competition. And then next week we've got a swimming gala for kids that basically wouldn't have the opportunity normally to take part in a swimming competition. But since September, Dan's been working with our newly qualified teachers. Um, he's, he's working across Key Stage 1 and Key Stage 2 with a varied curriculum. So he's, we're two form entry, so one teacher is getting the, the delivery and then that overspills to the rest of our children. And varied sessions from dance to, to rugby to real PE. I've been working with NQTs um, predominantly, so giving them a chance to see me deliver um, and then slowly it's going to transition to where they're and then delivering and I'm going to support them um, and that, a lot of that has been the real PE, um, which is good for them because they get the session plans straight away in front of them as well, they don't have to rely on me for that. And Dan joined us in September for our real PE training, um, so he, he has had the the same input as all the teachers within school. So everyone's coming at um, sport and physical activity from the same angle. So Dan's able to reinforce those messages that we're giving in our other PE lessons. So we're all working to the same, whether it's a personal cog or a social cog, um, and that's being reinforced you know, twofold through, throughout the school. One of my main interests is sort of the, the actual physical development side um, with, with youth. So the real PE is one of the perfect things for that. There's a lot of different challenges in regards to coordination, um, giving children like chances to like learn how to brace properly and uh, build strength. Not just learning basic rugby skills or football skills is very varied, which is good. Having that badge of being with Leeds Rhinos is really important because the children have something to aspire to and, and look up to. The, the professionals, the professionalism, uh, and the skill base that comes with Leeds Rhinos. Is, is second to none.